Hi everybody, welcome back to Spiritual Tarot Reading. I am Calypso Vibes coming to you live this evening. Took a day off, apologies, but your girl needed kind of like a day to just focus on that new moon energy. I hope you guys did some new moon cleansing like I did. I had a whole new moon bonfire and everything. It was perfect what I needed yesterday. I didn't get no sleep. I stayed up super late. <laughs> Because, you know, all these moon energies kind of keep your girl up. So, I didn't really get any sleep. Um, but I really... I, no, I put it away. I appreciate you guys who are subscribing to the channel. Um, thank y'all so much. It's over here. All the channels over here. I'll, I'll deal with it later. Um, I appreciate you guys subscribing. It is so appreciated. So, 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 so appreciated. Y'all don't understand what it means. Every day I log in, I see I got more subscribers. Every day again, I see I got more subscribers and it makes me so happy because I know I've always had, first of all, the gift, the gab, and I know I've always known how to make people feel good. Two things I've always had, you know, really good talents in, and I've always had a talent in teaching and helping people. So, um, I think you guys are going to be in store for being some of the first people to find my channel because your girl's only going to continue to grow, 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 grow. And uh, I plan to enlighten as many avatars as I possibly can. You know what I mean? We're all on that spiritual journey like Aang trying to enlighten our, you know, enlighten ourselves and hone our gifts to become master avatars. So I appreciate you guys. Don't forget if you're checking me out now to like, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You guys turn on that notification bell if you haven't. Cut it on so you know the next time I go live. But I would really appreciate if you guys, you know, leave me some likes and some comments. Because I would love to know who, you know, who you are, where you're from, how the reading resonated. Um, what's some of the things you worked on during the new moon and the portal this past weekend. And um, yeah, you know, let me know how my readings are resonating with you. I Like I said, I couldn't go live yet, you guys. I haven't been given granted access to go live yet have to have 50 subscribers so if you wanted to you could help a sister help a sister out by sharing my my content you know to maybe your mom to a friend to your girlfriend hell to your boyfriend whatever like we're out here to motivate everybody you know what i'm saying to get everybody to get their ish together you know what i'm saying my readings are not just for women my readings are for the collective it is it is universal readings you know what i mean we're here to raise the consciousness of the planet and raise the consciousness of all us avatars who inhabit it you know what i mean while taking care of nature and taking care of ourselves so hopefully my message tonight will resonate with you i just want to give a special shout out to this tarot um i am using love oracle of eden i told you all about this in the first video it is stunning. It's like one of the most beautiful tarot decks I have ever owned. It is very intentional. Um, this is the deck we're using as the first deck, and it's made by Abusa PA. So if you guys wanted to look them up, A-B-U-S-U-A -S -S space PA. So for anybody wanting to see the Abusa PA, that's who made this. It's called the Love Oracle of Eden. You can look that up. So it's one of the most stunning decks. I, it's, an, it's an experience for her decks, right? And it's for Black and LGBTQ, so I love it. Um, she, she donates some of her proceeds to help different communities. So we love to hear that. Um, but we're going to get started, and you guys know how I do. So let me give me a second spirit ancestors spirit guides angel guides ancestors whew, the divine i ask that you guys guide my hands through this reading i ask that you guide me with uh love light and protection i ask that you cover me with protection i ask that segment and beset cover me i ask that archangel michael and gabriel cover me and remove any negativity and evil that wishes to interfere and oppose me doing this reading to raise the collective's consciousness. I appreciate it. I am humble. I am grateful. I am thankful. I am humble. I am grateful. I am thankful. I am humble. I am grateful. I am thankful. Allow the, you know, thank you for flowing through me. Thank you for using me as a ooh, conduit to 
to send out the message that you want to the collective. I ask that you guys please give me permission to flow through your energy. And I'm going to ask that now, can I have permission to flow in your energy so that I may, this reading be, may better, rate, better resonate with you. All right, now that I have your permission, we're going to start this reading with bell cleansing because I like to cleanse the energy before I start. So you will hear bell ringing, fair warning, because it's cleansing your energy and my energy so that we have no interference and get a, you know, concise reading. So please be patient and, you know, fair, fair warning for sound. I will shuffle while the bells ring, you guys. And again, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. Take a deep breath in with me, you guys. And release the deep breath. Cut the bells off, please. Thank you. For the good of all and harm to none, we come with good intentions. For the good of all and the harm to none, we come with good intentions. For the good of all and the harm to none, we come with good intentions. I ask that I am protected and covered with love, light, and protection. I ask that I am covered with love, light, and protection. I ask that I am covered with love, light, and protection. All right, you guys, let's get started. Let's see what Spirit wants to tell you guys. What's been on their mind. I hope everybody, like I said, had a good weekend and is having a productive week. Tomorrow's Wednesday, right? Like hump day. Yeah, tomorrow's midweek. So, you know, y'all, y'all, some of y'all who, you know, got work tomorrow. I hope you you conquer that hump day <laughs> with, you know, love light. Staying consistent. There we go. Look at this. Spirit took the words out of my mouth. I literally was like thinking, like, what is the word I really want to say with consistency? Staying consistent. Because that's what it's all about this month. This month is going to be all about, you see how the shadow side is, the love and the light. Staying consistent to, to working on speaking your truth. Oh, spirits here was with us. Look, we got divine guidance is here with y'all. Look, spirit is here. Legit pull the spirit guidance card. They do love to show out and show up when they <laughs> when they want to explore. All right, let's see if we can get two more cards, you guys. The only thing about these cards is because they're so like this soft, like velvet, you know, like velour <laughs> feeling. That it's a little hard to shuffle. So, you know, it could take a little bit, take a little bit of a minute. I will take the top card, which is the sensuality, and put that those back. Oh, spirit. 
Hold up, y'all. I'm as per you, spirit be be throwing my cards all over the place at me. Y'all know a reading ain't a reading if spirit ain't got jokes. Hi. All right, there we go. We got trust. All right. So let's start with this, you guys. We got six cards out. This is plenty. Thank you. We have truth, trust, sensuality, explore, guidance. You know, they showing up, showing out, right? And consistency. So what was the first card? It was truth, right? And then we had consistency. Because I want to make sure we tell the story in the order that they kind of came out. Because I feel like that's intentional, right? So, and by the way, look at these cards. This is the Eden the, the deck I was telling y'all about, the Love Oracle of Eden. Look how they look like Polaroids, right? Like, I love this tarot deck so much. Shout out to them. Seriously, I love this deck. Um, So it's called Truth. That's where we're getting, right? And with the Truth card showing up like this, right? It's a person surrounded, right? And it looks like a whole bunch of people wearing veils, hiding their face. But you got this one person who is like in all white has been baptized and like purified right and is sitting here with the mask on the floor right unfiltered unmasked vulnerable <clears throat> exposed with the mask on the floor so they're wanting y'all to start speaking your truth i already got interference in my throat like not me not want someone not wanting me to say that but I'm going to say it, speaking your truth, right? Coming out, talking about how you feel, telling people your feelings, standing your ground. Truth also can symbolize boundaries, right? Like this, I'm taking my mask off. I'm not, you know, I'm not holding back anymore, right? I'm not cupcaking. I'm not, I'm not blending in with these, you know, with the crowd, right? Because like I said, in this photo, it's very striking that the the woman who is standing forward is like exposed vulnerable right with the wearing the all white while the rest are behind her all black you know blending in together right while her mask is on the floor <coughs> you know and it's almost like an opera singer stepping forward like no this is my breakout moment i'm stepping away from the pack right so some of y'all need to really start communicating how you feel showing up as your authentic self right truth is boundaries set you know telling people how you feel truth is authenticity right showing up as your authentic self telling people how you feel um respectfully let me make that clear respectfully right but it's no longer trying to blend in baby 2023 is all about us not blending in anymore us not following trends you know when you look online and be like oh follow the latest trends who's a follower who's following trends i don't need to follow trends i set the trends i've had to even condition myself of that because i literally would look online and look at what's trending and of course you do need to look at what's trending when you're doing some social media right so you can gauge a little bit of what you're trying to do but how do i put it like this like i feel like when you're doing that stat wise that makes sense right but like we've been conditioned to this idea oh you need to find this niche you need to you need to you need to you know be put in a box and be this one thing and this one dimensional thing because otherwise you know people won't support you honey people might not support you <laughs> okay people might not support you you know, being your authentic self where one day you want to paint, the next day you want to draw, the next day you want to do tarot, the next day you want to do this, the next day you want to do that. That's the thing. That's the difference of people who are cultivating communities and followings. See what I'm saying? Two different things. When I used to be a content creator, you know, like heavily, right? Full-time content creator, full-time streamer. My channel was all about me being chaotic. <laughs> right you never knew what you were getting in my channel right and some people couldn't stand it like a lot of followers on twitch hated that they didn't know how to live a gypsy life because twitch conditions you to you have to play apex and apex only otherwise you won't get support you have to play fortnite and fortnite only otherwise you won't get support that's like the most boring content creator you possibly make to me right oh no i'm like 
be consistent in the time you show up. That's cool. And that makes sense because that's consistency, which is showing up, right? That's the discipline and the consistency. But you're not going to put me in a box to blend in with everybody else. So some of y'all need to sit out here and be a standout star. Some of y'all are ready to sing the operetta, you know what I mean, in a falsetto. Y'all, some of y'all are out here sing, ready to sing your song, speak your poetry, play your own tune, play your own instrument. You know what I mean? You are the instrument. That's another thing. You are the instrument. Make your own music. Stop, you know what I mean? Like, not everybody's meant to be in a band, right? Bands have band leaders. Some people are meant to be band leaders. And in particular to whoever it is, this particular part of the message is for you. Some of y'all are ready to lead, become leaders, teachers, educators, um, start new culture trends. Some of y'all are here to start new spiritual trends. Some of y'all are here to start new, like new niches, right? Undiscovered niches, you're going to discover them. But only when you step out from being amongst the herd and in the box, okay? We have consistency showing up next, right? And if you look at this consistency photo, it's like day and night, right? It's, it's also shadow, right? It's the sun and the moon, right? Staying consistent at all times, right? Balancing the, the sun and the moon, right? And this might even be towards a Libra, right? Or Gemini. Libras and Gemini struggle with consistency. Let me tell you, it is hard for them to stay consistent and, and disciplined to, to pursuing their dreams. They get scared. They, uh, they get distracted. A lot of air right? A lot of that air will, will have them distracted. So I feel like this message is really resonating towards like duality, right? People who have dual symbols, right? And y'all really need to focus and stay consistent and disciplined to, you know, what you're working on. If you're working on your shadow, stay working on that shadow so you can balance the light, right? And if you're if you're working, if you're always like, oh no, I'm positive, positive, positive. I don't, I don't acknowledge the shadow. The shadow's gonna start dominating you, honey. There, everyone has light and dark, right? But it's when we acknowledge that, okay, am I, am I, am I, am I escaping, right? Am I doing escapism? Am I, am I, am I, am I entertaining distractions too much, right? So consistency is very important and showing up for yourself, right? Not just yourself, even those you love, right? Because consistency is needed so people can rely on you. So people can be dependent on you, right? And not dependent in a way that's like crippling, but dependable of knowing that, no, you're trustworthy. I can depend on you, right? And it's a good feeling when you know you can show up for people and people trust you. And then you start building trust with people, right? So consistency, this consistency can also be the duality of women. This might also be directed towards a lot of women right now, right? Because we're about to come in that duality era, right? Where it's the divine feminine rising, right? And divine feminine, like Mayat, Mayat is all about justice, the scales and balance, right? So we're coming into the divine feminine era where you're going to start seeing a duality of women, right? So, you know, you may see like the Barbie, the Barbie chick and the dominatrix chick right? It's that kind of consistency, right? And some of y'all maybe are being too much of a good girl and not enough of a bad girl. Some of y'all might be too much of a bad girl and not enough of a good girl, right? And when I say good girl, let me be more elaborate. When I say good girl, I mean, you're not working in your divine light. You're not, you're not channeling good self-love habits, right? Like you're not taking care of yourself, right? That's what I mean by good girl. Like you're not you're not taking, you're not, you're not shining your light, right? You're not, you're not, um, you're not being consistent to, you know, maybe getting your hair done, getting your nails, to just doing things that make you self love yourself, right? You're not telling, you're, you're not even implementing good, healthy habits of good self talk, right? You're not journaling every day. You're not staying consistent to healthy habits, right? So that's the good girl, right? The bad girl is, oh no, I'm running in these streets. I'm doing this, I'm doing that, right? And you know, it's kind of like your sexuality, right? The, some of y'all might be being over promiscuous, right? So, or 
you know, maybe out clubbing or just ripping and running too much, right? So you need to nurture, make sure you're nurturing yourself and having balance and consistency. Then we have guidance showing up, right? So we notice the spirit. We know the we know the spirit guides and angel guides are here because they're here to offer divine guidance. And they're here to, to let you guys know they're using me as a conduit and a vessel to deliver the message that they are here and here's some divine guidance showing up and you know letting y'all know that a lot of y'all have spiritual energy around you like this is absolutely the hand in touch of oh no some of y'all got some hyperactive energy around you and i think some of y'all have probably been seeing a lot of angel numbers and don't want to acknowledge that it's not a coincidence that you're starting to see more repetitious things happening around you, right? That you're starting to see like a lot of three, 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 four, 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 five, five, whatever your synchronized numbers are, right? For me personally, it's been a lot of two, two, two. And I'm like, good Lord, like what is all these twos, right? So like for the last month, I couldn't shake two for like two weeks, literally. <laughs> it was two weeks of twos, right? So spirit was hyper emphasizing that too, right? And and then now lately it's been fours again. Like it's always usually been fours and now it's back to fours again. But um, different spirits will move through you. Like I know 555 five, five seems to be very common. Um, and it's still letting me know now like 555 five, five is meant to, someone needs to pay attention to those 555s. Five, five, 1111, I think 1111 is important and significant to someone too. Um, so pay attention to your guides, like journal you know, a lot of them, they, they want to commune, right? And someone's like, well, I don't know how to do that. What does that look like? It could really look like, first of all, I highly emphasize journaling. And then I emphasize paying attention to your dreams. I emphasize meditating on grass. Get out grounding and really try to visualize. Like, I'm not even visualize. When you're grounding, really try to feel what's around you right like while you're outside in the breeze right and if you're going to play meditative music play it low i've actually been told spirit likes more shh than noise right so if you're going to play meditative music play like singing bowls but on low right Chanting is good when you want to clear energy and when you want to summon them and stuff like that, right? And you're going to dance for them. You 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 know like for those who are much more advanced who will dance and sing and chant to invoke them, right? And that's a little bit more advanced. And some of y'all are advanced and aren't aren't afraid of confronting spirits, right? And you'll feel them dancing around you, right? For some of y'all, it might be brushing your hair literally in front of a mirror, singing singing your favorite songs, right? And singing songs that have certain frequencies, high vibrating, you know, like Barbara Streisand, share like these songs or like play stuff that's like, even for the fellas, play songs that's like got divine masculine, like some Barry White. I, I, I know, like stuff like that, like a... Uh, you know, like Gatman Band, the stuff like that too. They, they love like that old school 70s music, funk, funk music. A lot of spirits love funk. And you'll actually see a lot of your ancestors come out for funk music, trust. <laughs> so, um, but play it low and meditate and really try to em envision what's coming to you, right? Like allow yourself to let them appear in your face, right? Or appear around you. I think a lot of our senses aren't quite ready for visual for some of us. I struggle with that because my mind is always, D -d 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 -d. I don't know how to shut that ish off and I get it. So I used to be like, you know, I can do that. I can't, my mind is so like chattery as hell cause I got so many ideas right and i'm i got so many things i want to say and commune to them so it's always a little hard to like do that but i can feel them right because they they say if you can't see feel them and, and so one way to do this is i've actually been practicing it and it trips me out because i've really been feeling it you sit there you meditate eyes closed and literally open your palms out like this like almost like in the cup right 
and see what you feel like I'm talking about when you fully tune in and I have my singing bowls on and I literally was doing this for like a week and I didn't stay consistent so that is for me as well because I have not stayed consistent I would dance in the morning and then I would do the meditating with the singing bowls so that 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 consistency is also for myself but I would like feel literally feel cool chills like literally in my hand as if they're like putting something in my hand or it's like the the it didn't feel quite like holding my hand it literally felt like they were putting something in my hands so whether that's light whether that's energy and I literally would take it like after I felt like the draft move away I would like cup it and literally like rub it into my heart like I literally would then sit there and hold both my hands over my heart as if I'm like rubbing whatever they put in my hands into my heart, right? So that's just something y'all could try. Um, I, I do plan to do some courses here in the future about some of my ideas and, you know, how to start invoking more spiritual guidance and things like that. But um, I feel like I need to grow my channel a little bit more and grow a little bit more of an audience. But I absolutely plan to write, you know, do some, have some courses and things like that. Um, sensuality. What did I tell y'all? Some of y'all need to get in that. That. What did I tell you? You know what I mean? Put some. That. What did I tell you? Staying consistent to your sexuality, your sensuality, right? Some of y'all. I've been having this talk with uh, my partner Jude for a while about how women are not sensual anymore. It's too much yoga pants. It's too much. You know, sweatpants, COVID pants. And this isn't judging y'all because somebody who's probably wearing sweatpants and yoga pants right now as we speak is listening. And this is really not meant to be offensive. It's just that we don't sleep in our drawers no more, right? Or even cat in a breeze sometime, bra off. I used to never be a bra off girl. I'm more, now that I'm more spiritual, I try to take a few more nights, not a lot, because I do like that I have great boobs. <laughs> so I try not to like keep the bra off too much at night, but um, sleep more nights with your bra off, right? Because spirit likes connecting with the body, right? And it's not in a creepy, pervy way, especially it's much more divine feminine, right? That's how they heal you at night. That's how they help, uh, you know, it's almost like a warm balm, you know, being rubbed on you, right? Like this, especially if you have a deity that you resonate with, right? Or an archangel that you resonate with, right? Like the archangel, like Ariel came to me, right? Or for me, you know, like more feminine Ishtar, right? Ishtar represents sexuality, Hecate. Um, for some of y'all, it could be Lilith. For some of y'all, it could be, you know, Sekhmet, Beset. Isis, Hathor, you know, um, Maya, it could be, who else is like hyper on sexuality? It's really like Ishtar and, and, uh, you know, Hakate and, oh God, I had like a whole list of like super Hathor, hyper, you know, sexuality, but some of y'all need to look into those deities who are going to help you hone your 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 sexuality your sensuality and for fellas this is for you too we say it all the time like oh man this stuff seems like it's just for women no it's not some of you fellas need to get back into like grooming yourself seriously right and spending time with yourself right taking care of yourself right like it's not just women sensuality isn't sensuality isn't a gender thing sensuality is a is a is a is a is an experience right so being what is what does i think for a lot of y'all y'all need to figure out what does sensuality mean to me what is what does it mean for me to be sensual to myself for some of y'all it could be oiling your skin softly that's what i'm saying brushing your hair you know taking time to brush your hair softly you know what I mean? For fellas, it could be you brushing your hair at night, right? Putting on some shea butter, some cocoa butter, taking care of yourself, looking in the mirror, you know, putting on that wave cap, whatever it is that you do they, they, that makes you feel good about yourself. Taking baths. I told y'all, a lot of this is coming back to taking baths. For some of you fellas, it could be y'all putting on some of these silk pajamas at night, you know, surprise your wife, surprise your lady. You know what I'm saying? Not just being boxers and briefs, the easy stuff, right? 
The same way y'all want women to make effort, y'all can make efforts too. And it goes both ways and it definitely does. And I'm telling you, some of you ladies need to get back in your little moo moo dresses and all this, you know, good stuff. Like let, let your body breathe at night, but feel good. Rub oils like on your body and take care of yourself. This has nothing to do with your partner. This is individual sensuality. This like, I'm not getting the vibe that this is a couple thing. Like, Oh, be more sensual with your partner. Even though I do think a lot of y'all do need to be much more sensual with your partner where it's just a lot of rubbing, touching. Just start back at the basis of like flirting slowly, sensually, right? With each other. And it doesn't even have to lead to sex, but you know what I mean, right? Just being very intimate with each other. and But it's more so being intimate with yourself. It could be intimacy with just yourself, right? So I'm gonna leave that one there. Then we have explore, right? Some of y'all need to go out there and be on d -d 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 Dora mode, right? You know, setting yourself free, exploring Carmen San Diego, right? Like take unplanned trips if you can, right? Take a day trip, go to a day spa, go to, I'm telling you, I really, I'm not going to talk about it anymore. I'm really going to look up. Uh, um, what is it that I've been wanting to go to? I forgot where it's like a hot spring. Yeah, like I've been wanting to go to a hot spring and drink some tea and have some rice balls and legit sit in a jacuzzi and live my best life. Like I just been wanting like this therapeutic experience just for one night to get away from like work, my kids, just everything, right? They escape and sleep overnight somewhere really nice and just enjoy myself and set myself free for a day, right? Some of y'all need to go do something fun. Like, but for me, this image is, is like, no, I'm liberated. I'm I'm having a blast, right? Some of y'all need to dance maybe butt naked at night under the moon. Like this is, you see this photo, right? It's sensual. <laughs> it's like after you rub all your, your, your stuff on, it's like a full moon or a new moon. And the, the spirits is like, all right, now bring those, you know, come outside and and dance and liberate yourself and be free. It could even be a morning routine that y'all can incorporate of exploring more, more ways to, you know, cut up and let free with your body. Then we have trust, right? Trust the process. Trust the journey. Trust that the consistency, speaking your truth, standing out, and that their guidance and owning your body and your voice is gonna it's gonna do great things for you, right? That trust that nothing but good things is gonna come out of it, right? Because this is them working with you, right? This is this is the divine working with you, telling you to trust them, right? Telling them to that's what this is. Take the leap of faith, right? explore explore uh, explore what um spiritual guidance means to you right explore what deities as i just told y'all it's really hyper emphasis on like explore who your who your angel guides your spirit guides explore what ancestors is trying to commune with you because trust that they are trying to work with you to, to give you more direction and consistency, right? So that you can speak your truth and live from this liberated place, right? Where you can literally <laughs> stand out. And because you're going to stand out, you're going to draw all the attention for, for good, right? Because you're going to have more consistency and balance, right? You're going to do good things with that energy. And I'm burping because it's like, it's true. I like I had that double burp pop in my ears, right? It's like, once you start working on taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself, loving yourself, cover your hair, and, and, and better taking care of yourself and trusting the process, good things really will come to you. But you have to trust the process. You have to take care of yourself. And you have to, you got to allow yourself to kind of be guided. Some of y'all, I think, are like, yeah, I don't know. I'm like, what the hell does that mean? You'll know when you start. That's what I'm saying. Start taking care of yourself. Start allowing spirit to kind of flow and guide you. 
some of y'all have to be in control all the time. You don't know what not being in control feels like. Because you don't know, you don't ever let yourself not be in control. If you let yourself not be in control, you can know what it looked like. Right? If you haven't yet, please like, share, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. So you can know the next time I go live and check out future content. I would love to know what you guys thought of this video, how it resonated to you. Again, don't forget to subscribe, 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 you guys. And, and leave a comment, please. I would love to know if I'm helping you, if this reading made you feel better or, you know, kicked you in the butt, whatever it did, right? Because I do try to break down actual ways these cards could actually help you, right? Not just read cards and not tell you, you know what it is you can actually work on right how to, how does that look in physical action right so i do try to definitely do different readings than you'll you'll find anywhere else all right because that's what it means to really be a guide right don't don't just guide me in the jungle and then just leave my ass out there right like what, what i'm gonna do what i'm gonna do I, you you left me out here unprepared right so i'm trying to Trying to prepare y'all. Because <laughs> y'all know it's a jungle outside your house. The second you leave, it's spiritual warfare and then some. So I'm trying to arm you with some good energy and some, you know what I mean? Some tools to equip yourself. All right. So let's see what else spirit got for us. Some prosperity. Oh. Come on, spirit. Can we keep it on the board? <laughs> Hold up. Let's see. Bro, we need to like have a, like once I start doing live streams and you guys start showing up in the channel, start counting how many times a card like flies off the table or something. Right per stream. Some with divine masculine. Some of y'all have nobility. I told you uh temptations you should catch the abgvs <laughs> temptations all right let's see blessings contemplation what i tell you intuition by the way i'm using an egypt um somebody might be asking egyptian prophecies tarot One of my friends says she loved my tarot cards. Like every time I do tarot for people and send them pictures, they always like, oh my God, I love your tarot card. So, you know, you guys can see what I'm using. Because your girl's tarot collection is deep, 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 deep. All right. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Give me one second. I'm trying to get this one that went flying. Oh, it was two. They were stuck together. All right, this is more cars than I was looking for, but okay, Spirit, I'm with it. I'm with it. All right, you guys, so we have burdened, taking on too much, responsibilities, eliminate the unnecessary. Again, I am guilty of this. Like, I do a lot. Right. So some of y'all are maybe that's also what the guidance is for. Some of y'all need to ask help from spirit. Right. Learning to communicate with spirit to ask them to help lift some of these burdens and stress and pressure off of you. Right. But some of y'all are taking on a lot of responsibilities, whether it's with your household, uh, just juggling a lot. It's a lot when you're trying to you know, take care of a relationship, take care of kids, run a business or go to work, right? Like it's a lot. It's a lot. And sometimes we got to call out an SOS and say, hey, I need help. I just need a hug. I just, I, any relief is appreciated, right? And I think a lot of y'all take on much more than y'all can handle. And some of y'all need to be careful because I just had a flash of like a health scare and I don't like that. Like, I really just envisioned a health scare. Whew. Yeah, that was heavy. 
Like, I even felt like it's something like with the chest. Some of y'all better be careful. Because it's telling you to eliminate the unnecessary. Like, some of y'all... Some of y'all need to start unburdening some of your responsibilities. Like, it's time to call in help. <clears throat> There's the burp. Excuse me. Some of y'all could probably alleviate a lot of burdens on your shoulders right now if you make phone calls and ask people for help. And some of the help might make might be some hard decisions you don't want to make. But you need to for your own health. Because I legit felt like that. it wasn't just because of that burp. Which is always confirmation for me. Sorry if you're like watching like, oh my gosh, she burps and sneezes a lot. Yeah, it's spiritual confirmation. So forgive me. It's not me being crass. Um, but I felt like heart attack. Like my heart just felt like tight. And I didn't like how it felt just now. I was like, some of y'all might have that heart scare. And I'm not trying to wish that on anybody because that's not a thing. Um, but you can put energy in the universe. And I'm not trying to put that energy in the universe. I'm trying to warn you that because that's what i'm here for right be careful that some of y'all might legit be having a heart scare and that shit's gonna be no joke and it's gonna put you down for a while be careful because if you go down with you carrying all these burdens you're gonna take a lot of things down with you right that's why i'm saying some of y'all need to unburden yourselves and maybe take an out while there's an out for some of these things right and ask spirit for help ask friends for help so many of y'all probably like i don't got no support system i can't i can't ask nobody to do nothing for me i do everything by myself that's not true and help comes in places from people and things you don't know until you ask a lot of y'all are just too prideful and proud to ask and y'all need it y'all even too prideful and proud to ask spirit for help we got transformation, endings, closure, regeneration, rebirth. Some of y'all, and we have the scarab showing up, right? So the scarab represents good luck though, right? And it represents rebirth because you, you need to, I don't like, I don't want to say the word die, but you know what I mean? You need to, you need to, it needs to be a drastic chop, right? It needs to be a drastic cut off and the end, like, I, I said this like this week. Some of y'all need to chop your hair. That's an ending. Like I'm letting that version of me go. Some of y'all need to, you know, cleanse your cl clean your closets. Throw out clothes that no longer fit you. Some of y'all need to, instead of spring cleaning, there's a such thing as summer and fall cleaning. Like every month during these solstices is a good time to refresh and cleanse out what no longer serves us, Right? Because there's transformations coming and some of y'all are blocking your blessings because you aren't adjusting to the transformations that's trying to come and it's going to get too heavy and it's going to make you dress. It's going to, spirit's going to force you to sit down at some point and you don't want that. Temptations, indulgence, restriction, limitation, attachment. <coughs> I don't like that. Some of y'all's temptation is indulgence. Some of y'all don't know how to, whether it's food, whether it's sex, whether it's uh, gambling, whether it's drinking, whether it's smoking. Some of y'all need to watch these indulgences, restrictions. Some of y'all um, are putting restrictions and limitations on yourself and need to have some fun. Some of y'all, that's what I'm saying. So for some of y'all, it's the opposite. Some of y'all need to have some fun. And uh, some of y'all got some attachments. Some of y'all temptation is these attachments y'all done picked up. And y'all better be careful of some of these temptations and attachments you done picked up. All right? I say what I say. Some of y'all about to have conflicts, clashing personalities, competition differences, petty hassles, heated arguments. Man, listen, as somebody who always got the tower in her, in, in her life and in her house, avoid this. Get rid of this because maybe that's why I felt the heart strain and the heart attack, like the pre-heart attack. Be careful of these conflicts, right? Because with conflicts and you already feeling stressed out and burdened, you're going to want to cut somebody because it's going to be like, listen, I will cut you with all the stuff I got on my plate and that I'm trying to take care of and do. And you trying to like cause 
drama and conflict, but you be careful because then, like, you may win the fight, but you ain't going to win the war because spirit's then going to dunk you and, you know, you're going to be like, oh, right? Because it's, it just, it, it it's going to, it's going to be what sends you over. So, um, sometimes the best answer to conflicts and when, when you got these clash of personalities and people trying to compete with you because they're jealous or like, you know, people just looking to be petty hassles because you're not paying them attention and heated arguments because y'all can't get in sync. Let me tell you, my favorite thing is to just be like, nope, and and just keep moving. Like, I'm telling you, some of y'all need to learn that turn the cheek and keep it moving energy. And, and you be like, well, that's going to make them more mad. Oh, well, just it, at least you're setting boundaries for yourself, right? So... Watch out for these conflicts because the fact that that's like a spear in the chest, I don't like that. See, it's more into the chest. I told y'all, some of these conflicts is going to send your, spike your, I'm telling you, spike your, your stress levels. And the fact that it's like to the heart, that's what I'm saying. I felt this heart energy. And let me tell you, people like, oh man, I'm too young to have a heart attack. I'm too young to have a stroke. No, you're not. Newsflash, no, you're not. You can have a heart attack and a stroke at 19, 18. Does not matter. With the way we eat these days, you can have a heart attack stroke at any age. Most of y'all probably diabetic anyway and don't even know it. I'm telling you. So it's easier to have a stroke. Be careful. Do not let people steal your joy and happiness and bring you out of your character transition there we go again we got transformation and transition tranquility healing calm waters progress movement forward overcoming hardships this is what we want to see right that transition to the transformation without the conflicts and the burdens and the drama we got to get rid we got to clean this shit out like we got to tell this stuff to kick rocks right so we can get to this transition and transformation energy because we know what this means we know that overcoming hardships and tranquility healing and move, moving forward means there's that prosperity there's this where's this because i know i saw blessings the inner strength and pure happiness uh-huh the inner strength and your intuition growing nobility some of y'all about to have a massive go up glow up when it's nobility some of y'all about to be living y'all bougie bitch era then power of choice look at all this that's gonna come right there's the blessings like five good 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 cards right if we can tell this energy to kick rocks right so um Take care of yourself. It's telling you tranquility healing. It's telling you stay in the consistency of meditation. Fight that temptation. There it is. Fight the temptation of procrastination. Because, ooh, that's a bar. Fight the temptation of procrastination. Because that's y'all, some of y'all, that's an Achilles heel. Like, ah, man down. All it takes is one day off and you're man down. And you're struggling to get back into these healthy habits, right? Where it's calmer waters, progress, moving forward, overcoming hardships, right? So make some hard decisions so we can get to this transition and transformation. Some of y'all don't want to make sacrifices and hard decisions. Guess what? Peace does not come without sacrifice. Something and some things and some people got to give so you can get to this. This good stuff that's coming, I'm telling you. People don't like to sacrifice. Let me tell you, in 2023, don't let, don't listen. If you know good things is on the horizon, pay the price now so good things can come. And I say this all the time because some things are blessings in disguise. It don't feel like it, don't seem like it because it's going to hurt. But baby, it, it, this energy I don't like. I don't like all these, like, and then there's a, like a fourth card that's even more energy I don't like. So it's really aggressive energy that I'm not feeling. Prosperity, financial new beginnings, investment, savings, security, stability, abundance and manifestation, right? Because when we got money, we can be more comfortable. When we move from prosperity, we can, 
we can do a lot of things. We can expand, right? We can quit, possibly leave that job, or this is a glow up through the job, right? This is a job promotion, so you can go on more vacations, be butt naked on the beach with that boo, right? So there's prosperity on the horizon, but boy, this is... Yeah, some funky vibes right there to get through. Yeah, see, it's more funky vibes. What I'm saying it's like five or six cards in here that's like hella funky, and I'm, I don't like it. Fixed vision, sticking up for yourself, not backing down, own beliefs. Listen, I, what I tell y'all that that first card I felt like, even though it was talking about truth, it was also talking about boundaries, right? Being defensive, like I'll pluck your ass with this arrow if you keep playing with me, right? Let me tell you, as a Capricorn, I feel this energy <laughs> hard because that's me. Like, I ain't going to bother you, but if you keep bothering me, I'm going to pop you with an arrow. Some of y'all is feeling that way right now, right? But it's also this Cancer moon. That's why I think conflicts are going to pop off, right? Because we're in this real crybaby energy, right? And there's no disrespect to any Cancers. But that's what cancer is all about. Cancer is all about the moon and the energy, like our feelings, our emotions. So, because that's literally what the moon is. <laughs> that's why we have the sun and the moon showing up, right? That duality, right? So it's the shadow emotions and then it's the physical, which is doing the work, right? So for some of y'all, that's why a lot of this funky stuff is coming up because you got all kind of people in their feelings. This moon is going to be brutal, y'all. Fair warning. I feel like I need to give a warning. The moon is brutal when it's in cancer because it's moody. It's moody, crybaby, shifty energy, you know? Completion. Look at this, though. Look, I'm telling you, if you can stay focused, I'm with you. This is a confirmation for myself. If you can stay focused, y'all, we got completion. Ooh, that was, that was a hella gassy. It didn't come all the way out, though, but it wanted to. Achievement, full circle, wholeness, time to move forward. Some of y'all are actually working on things and you kind of been like, eh, nah, 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 nah. you know, thinking about some stuff, move forward. This is confirmation. Like, whatever you was thinking about, like, oh, I wanted to work on this thing, do it. Do it. Complete it. Work on it. If you've already started a thing, finish it. Stop taking weeks to finish things. Complete whatever it is you are working on. This is completed because there's good things coming out of whatever whatever things you've been working on these last two weeks in July is going to bear fruit. That's why I'm saying some of y'all got to stop taking so long to work on the things y'all want to work on because there's prosperity and good things coming down the road. We have take control, determine, determination, head over heart. Goal-oriented, momentum. See, it's telling you take control. Don't let your emotions take control of you. You take control. Stand your ground. Set your boundaries. Ask for help, right? Stop being Captain America out here. You can't do everything. Sometimes you really have to start saying no and telling people to get their shit together. Some of y'all really need to start telling y'all friends and family, step up and help you. Different things, right? So take control of your life. Full steam ahead. Keep your head over your heart. Set them goals. Write down all your goals in, in the form of a vision board. Get oriented, right? Get organized. Seriously. Uh, pure happiness. Yes, success, joy, contentment, personal growth, acceptance, and authenticity. Authenticity. I hate this word. Authentic. Authenticity. You know the word. Yes, success and joy. There it is. Pure happiness. <laughs> that word get on my nerves. It's all these thicity words. You know what I mean? So, this pure happiness. So whatever you were asking spirit about just now, the answer is yes. Yes, success, joy. They're telling you to, telling you some of y'all is working on some stuff like I am. Yes, the answer is yes. Whatever we working on, but see it through to completion. Some of y'all working on some good stuff. Y'all out here scheming. Like, <laughs> I got some good stuff in the lab. Finish it through. 
inner strength, courage, instinctive drive, survival, taming. Keep persevering with that courage, y'all. Inner strength. Be strong. Be stern. Be, but be humble. Be grateful on the journey. Don't be mean. But stand in your strength. Intuition. Spirituality. Hidden knowledge. What did I tell y'all? Spirit showed up in the guidance card and is showing up in the intuition card. Make sure y'all slam that like share, subscribe, share this to a friend and a family member. I bet you it's going to resonate with somebody who needed to hear it today. Make sure you like and leave a comment and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe if you have not yet. I'm telling you. And turn on that notification bell so you know when I go live so you can catch this as soon as it drops. All right. And if you haven't, go check out my other videos. I'm, I bet you there's things you need to know. I've been on it this week. Spirituality, intuition, right? You're going to be getting hidden knowledge downloaded to you this week. So pay attention to your dreams and the synchronicities. Trust those gut feelings, that sacral chakra, right? All in there. I told y'all, a lot of y'all move too much in the head. That's another reason why conflict is going to be arising. Too many people is, you know, in the head, the, the brain talking that right, right, right. I'm, I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. I know you don't because you're moving from the head too fucking much. How about I'm moving from my gut and my instinct and I'm moving from my heart. Some of y'all need to learn to do that. Stop and stop arguing with people who are all just uh, analytical, right? All, all in the mind all the time, right? Because they're out of balance. Stop trying to argue with people who are out of balance and out of sync. Right? How you gonna listen to somebody who can't even find balance in their own life? They they are unbalanced and unharmonized. Why well, don't be arguing with people? Because I'm serious. When you start looking at who you arguing with, you like, man, this is some boo. You ain't even you. When I say you ain't even got your life together, I don't even mean like in the idea of some material possession. I mean like you ain't together. How dare you be out here judging, talking crap about people? Right? So gut feelings, receptivity. Be open to receive good things in your life, right? Use your intuition. Say, I am open. I am ready. I receive. I am ready for downloads. I am ready to receive the hidden knowledge. I am ready to hone my gifts. I am ready to work, you know, get better at my gifts. I am, I am, I am moving from a place of gratitude, right? Nobility, patient, practical, resourceful, responsible, hard worker. Some of y'all out here ambitious, right? persistence but it's telling you caution right use discernment and be cautious though right not to overwork yourself because you know some of y'all if y'all like me y'all could be workaholics y'all will sit up 16 hours 18 hour benders right because you once you start working you got these ideas and things you don't know how to go to sleep right and that ain't even from no drugs that's just I, i'm so tapped in i'm so focused i'm so driven i'm so honed into what i'm working on that i i wouldn't care like if i was 60 somebody be like oh that's because you're not old yet bull crap i know plenty of old people who be getting at it you see by the way do you see a lot of these billionaires they ain't young by the way and they talk about they sleep four and six hours we have made ourselves convinced that we need eight hours that's a lot of time gone throughout the day all you need is six uh, crispy hours that's it six crisp maybe seven and and that's pushing it right because then you start going through that cycle of being tired again so get y'all some six to seven crispy hours and i mean crisp right like in the bed no interruption just just good and watch how fresh you wake up feeling right you able to conquer a 16 hour day like it ain't nothing so and make sure you are hydrating right so you can get these downloads because we water right and source is water so in order to get these downloads from source we got to be hydrating and grounding with nature all right because some of y'all about to be living your best noble life it's like noble ancestors some of y'all got like nobility like old school Maybe even ancient. This could be ancient ancestors with this nobility, right? 
but they want you to be patient and practical, right? And resourceful. That's why I'm telling y'all, some of y'all need to use the resources you have around you to unburden yourself because there, I told you there's a warning of caution to your health, right? So make sure you are not taking on this burden all the time by yourself. Ask for help. Ask for help. Surrender to the things that are, aren't in your control anymore, right? Stop trying to take on too much. Stop, you know, like some of y'all be really out here burning yourself out. Like I, I say this all the time to my partner, like I'd like set boundaries. Like some of y'all need cut off time. Some of y'all need cut, you know, times you wake up. But some of y'all need to be nurtured some of y'all are just running that i feel like this is a lot look there's a chariot there's this there's the the the, the, the on the animal it's a lot of on the go 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 energy but it's not no nurturing energy and i'm i'm i feel that's kind of unfortunate like that's why that sensuality was there i know why that was there that sensuality and that speak your truth because some of y'all need some intimate intimacy intimate time you need to, and I said this, this doesn't have to be with a partner. It could just be with yourself. Some of y'all need to go back to figuring out what your body likes. What do you even like? What does that feel like? So feel it, right? Some of y'all really need downtime of just like being able to really just relax in your masculinity, relax in your femininity, right? raw and you know be able to be vulnerable to someone all right but it's got to be someone you trust power of choice create your own destiny do what you feel is right stop letting echo chamber right just because people don't have the same beliefs as you do hell you know how many people are skeptical about angel guides spirit guides ancestors hell i be hearing ignorant shit on the internet i ain't my ancestors what do you think you are do enlighten if you ain't your ancestors what are you what what spirit you think that is that's flowing through you like it's it the tree of life is a real thing you guys and every time we reincarnate we are re reincarnating with our ancestors we come back with more information. Unfortunately, something happened. And I'm still working on how to use my gifts to figure all that out about the fracture. Like what happened where we stopped coming back more enlightened because we should have. Something at some point had to be severed where we don't, we're not born with downloads anymore, right? Because I feel like I really, really, really believe in my heart of hearts. I believe we used to be born with downloads of our previous lives like we knew what we did like we knew what we needed to be working on we knew information like the time in the womb was a much more cultivated thing right it wasn't just this okay carry nine months go to the hospital rip the baby out cut the core romp right and then sticking all those chemicals in our babies as they're growing up right that that desensitizes them and 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 shuts their gifts down right so with the food they're eating, with the water, with the things sprayed in the air, all kind of stuff, right? So our babies aren't having this enlightened experience because I feel like enlightenment comes at the young age, not at the older. It's definitely at the older age. But I think there is an age that we hit when we're older where we, we go through re-enlightenment again. And that's why I think when people play, man, listen to your elders it's real there's something about listening to your elders because there's something about a specific age where we wake up again where we start getting more downloads where we start where we're i think a little bit more receptive to the energy again right something about old age leaves you vulnerable you're so you're more uh you're more you're able to receive more right so some of y'all need to get under some old people and get you some game. Wreck a game, recognize game. Go, go hang out with your grandmother. 
your everybody i don't have my grandparents or you know get you that old aunt that old uncle get some game they are full of spiritual wisdom some of y'all just don't listen some of y'all just don't listen some of y'all have elders around y'all some of y'all got like elder you know maybe school teachers or something like that be respectful to them right the elders are carrying energy and information to teach us again right so we have make sure you're making smart choices because do what you feel the world is yours for the taking you are not stuck this card literally says that spirit is saying and i and i felt i felt the hyper emphasis on you aren't stuck some of y'all feel like you stuck like oh my god I, I i have no way to make money i have no way to get this done you're not stuck ask for help you have a choice and the last one I'm saying, a lot of this needs to be visualized on a vision board. And like once you're done journaling, some of y'all need to write your vision out like a vision board, but on paper. Because a vision board is not accessible to everybody, even myself included. Right. So like write what your vision board would look like, because that's still doing a vision board on paper. Right. Like I, I want to travel and write the places you want to travel to. Right. I, I want I want a new car. What kind of car? What model? What series? What color? Get all the way specific to the details. I want to fly on Emirates Airlines. I want to go in the summertime, right? Imagine the season. Feel what that feels like. And then as you're, after you write each part of the things you want to do on the vision board, if you can make a physical vision board, do that and write the vision board. Do both and watch how powerful that is. I play. I actually am ordering like my little my little board to have in my bedroom, right? And so I can see it every day, right? So I can write it and see it, right? And it's gonna be super powerful. That's what y'all need because y'all have the power of choice and you don't have to work. We've been conditioned to believe, oh, I have to work to get money. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. Live life with ease and grace. You don't have to struggle. You don't have to struggle. You don't need to feel like you've been beat into submission to earn that money. Say, I live my life with ease and grace. I live my life with ease and grace. I live my life with ease and grace. Right? I am not struggling to live my life. I am not struggling to live my life. I am not struggling to live my life. Deme declare you are not struggling to live life time of adjustments integration compromise moderation patience and then a lot of y'all don't don't make adjustments right don't make the needed adjustments while you got all this conflict and 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 burdens right and this chaos and this this disharmony around you whether it's in your home your business and your relationships make adjustments because you have the power of choice but you have to make adjustments right you have to compromise you have to be patient right and integrate healthy habits right and integrate con consistency right and keep can work overcoming hardships with move with moving forward stop living in the past that's why this, this transformation is here. It's called endings and closures. Some of y'all need to really let the old mentality you have die. Like this whole this whole thought of, like most of y'all ain't even going to be able to get past that. I don't need to work to earn money. Yes, that's a thing. The universe may, you may win the lottery. You might get an unexpected check. You may go put in a loan and get approved for way more than you were asking you may legit already have good credit, get another car that gives you more money. That abundance could come in multiple ways. And some of y'all don't even see it that way. There's so many ways money will come at you without you working if you keep positive energy. Even when everything is crumbling around you. Because guess what? It has to crumble so the rebirth can happen. So if everything around you sounds like it's going to shit, good. This is way you can let go of all your all your conditioning, all your old thought patterns, all your bad habits. Everything needs to crumble so you can see things from a new eyes. If shit is bad 
it and I and I don't mean that in a personal tagging way, but it's good. Nothing new can be reborn with with talk like not nothing good, not this kind of prosperity, not this pure happiness. You can't have no seeds of doubt. Can't have no seeds of bad habits. You can't have no seeds of 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 heavy burden and stress and drama and conflict. Ain't nothing coming good in this energy. Blessings. Listen to this. Blessings. Homecomings harmony. Togetherness. Long-term happiness and peace. Listen to this. Y'all got, we got pure happiness on the table and happiness and peace in the long term. Homecoming, harmony, prosperity, completion. Listen to this. Power of choice, intuition, and the strength, nobility. Do you hear all that good stuff? But we got to go through the death and the rebirth. We got to change these temptations. We got to alleviate these burdens. We got to... Um, set boundaries. We got to deal with these damn conflicts head on. And and so these blessings and all this good stuff, you know what I mean? A whole rainbow is in this photo wrapped around you. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. Let it in. And divine masculine, stability, structure, rules, authority, father figure, leader, protector. Some of y'all need to step up and be these things. Some people are depending on you to be these things, whether that's in your relationships, whether that's some of y'all might even, it might even be your own father figure, right? Some of my, some of y'all, it could literally be your dad's because it says father figure. Some of y'all, um, damn, may need to ask your dad for help. Some kind of male in your life help, maybe even a brother, like anything, but something with divine masculine right is coming in with stability is going to provide stability structure a, be a leader and a protector right rules authority father figure right so some of you women who've been waiting for that kind of masculine man to lead and protect is coming for some of y'all it could be y'all stepping into your divine masculinity because some of y'all been living in too much uh estrogen and not enough uh testosterone and masculinity some of y'all about to look like this right because your aura your energy your habits are going to change so you can be this so you can feel like this so you can feel like a noble divine masculine man who's getting these blessings right can't get to that if you don't clean this out I hate seeing all that damn conflict and, and burden. It's like in every reading lately. Like, it's, it's real. It's just energetically there. And it's because we're not addressing it. We're not we're not unburdening in ourselves. We're not asking for help. We're not taking opportunities that could be a way to alleviate the stress and the burdens around us. Like, it's there's things that need to happen because there's too much good shit that's on the way. And it isn't just financial. That's what I'm saying. If you're like, financial ain't the most important thing. Well, guess what? Your pure happiness is on the line. God damn. The, 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 whether it's, and it, a lot of it feels like it's love. Like pure happiness is love. Like, no, I, me and my love are in a state of bliss. We're in harmony, right? And we're getting this prosperity. So it's blessings coming in, right? Get it together, y'all. Seriously, some y'all got to make choices. It's, it's this, you got to pick what's, it's not even, and I hate to say that because a lot of people like, well, I don't like picking like what's more important because a lot of y'all got kids, right? And a lot of y'all got businesses, like all that stuff is just important to you. I think what this is, is you got to pick what the, what the, how do I put it like in, in what way can you address those priorities, right? Like. What what's gonna provide me my stability? That's what I'm saying. You gotta write out a list. What is the stability? What is the foundation? Right? What is the harm? What is the key to the harmony? Right? So y'all need to figure that list out. That's why is their power of choice is also showing up, right? Because you gotta pick. Is it is you gonna is you gonna pick your own happiness or you're gonna pick making everybody else happy first? That's what just came out of my mouth, dead ass. That's what this shit is always about. Are you going to learn to start making yourself happy first or are you going to keep making people pleasing, making everybody else happy 
Otherwise, you're going to keep conflicts because you ain't going to be happy. And you're going to spaz back one day. All these burdens, everything's going to just collapse on you and people are going to end up fighting. It's just going to get, it's just going to make stuff worse. Stop avoiding. Address. Find your strength and your voice. That first fucking card told it all. Stand in your truth and use your voice. Because there's a wish come true right there on the bottom. Some of y'all been already journaling, manifesting, casting spells, you know, putting in root magic, working on your shadow cell. Let me put that down because it felt like I literally was drawn to look at the bottom of the car. Wish come true, right? Wish come true is a desire attained after a long time. Getting what you wish for. Believe. What does it say? That spirit saying believe in the impossible. That's that I live life from... I, I am I live life with grace and ease. I, I don't I'm not I'm not going against the universe. I am not resisting. I am not going against the universe. I am not resisting. I am not going against the universe. I am not resisting. That's that. Look at this. Oh my god, look at this. Two of the best cards you can have. One on the top, the other on the bottom. Finances. What's here? What I tell y'all? Hold on. Let's let's put the good cards at the top. There's a lot of bad shit sitting up top. Uh, let's change the narrative. Because this is what we're going to do. We're going to have mega intuition, okay? we about to be out here whole psychic talking to each other because our, our intuition about to grow, right? Y'all going to get me without me even having to open my mouth. Y'all going to be able to under read the same energy I'm reading, right? Because you're going to be popping with prosperity. You're going to make the adjustments in your life, right? And go through the transition and you're going to be having blessings, pure happiness, and oh damn wish come true. That's what's coming. All right? So, no, actually, I'm going to put it there because that's where the good card is. So, you're going to have a wish come true. You're going to have finances, business, and financial matters. Fruits of labor paying off. Financial opportunities coming to you when you stop believing that you need to struggle and work hard. You don't need to work hard. You just need to live life from grace and ease and from gratitude. And believe in the impossible. It's law of attraction. That's what that shit's called. You get what you give out. If you're giving out nothing but good energy, it's going to come back. It's a mirror. That's what the simulation is. The simulation is a mirror. What you see in yourself is what's going to come back to you. That's a fact. If you believe you're no, you should be treated like nobility, you're going to be treated like nobility. If you feel you should be living a blessed, abundant life, guess what you're going to live? A best, abundant life. If you believe you should, you know what I mean? I live a drama-free, conflict-free life, that's what you're going to live. We're working with the Egyptian Visions deck. All right. I didn't even pull a lot of this one. Spirit was like, nah, you got it. Those first two decks came out a lot. So it, 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 the second one definitely said all it needed to. There's deception of foot. God, can I not pull deception, y'all? Seriously. Lies, distortion, self-deception, blinded by... The, the the wrong energy, not seeing what's true. Some of y'all not seeing what's in front of you. Some of y'all not seeing the truth. Some There's something deceiving you. Something's deceiving you. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all are blinded by the wrong belief patterns. Uh, self, it's self-deception. Some of y'all are lying to yourselves about a situation. That's what this really resonates as. Some of y'all aren't paying attention to your situation. Some of y'all don't want to acknowledge that this conflict exists and it ain't going to get better until you address it. Some of y'all are in denial. Then we have snake charmer. Turn a situation to your advantage. You'll win against your enemy. Two steps ahead of y'all enemy. Some of y'all out here a whole snake charmer. Ain't nothing opposing you. Ain't nothing getting in your way. You about to, you about to use your smarts and your wits and your intuition. You about to outplay everybody. 
do a whole snake charmer out here. If you haven't yet, like, share, subscribe, turn on that notification bell, subscribe, 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 you guys, if this reading is resonating, hit that notification bell, leave a comment. Please help me push myself out on YouTube. Let's be real. I need the subscriptions. I need the comments and the likes so I can get and the shares. That's why I'm, you know, I'm recommending you guys. I just really want to grow on YouTube. I'm, I'm going to be fully speak my truth. I really just want to grow on YouTube, you guys, so I can one, take care of my family and do good at the same time. And I feel like if I just be honest with y'all, maybe y'all will support that more and subscribe more. Like, I just really want to be able to take care of my family and take care of my children and be able to do my gifts and my readings and, you know, offer my, my, my towns. By the way, I own an Etsy store. Link is down in the description. I own an Etsy store and it's in my bio. So if you go to, you know, my front page on my channel, you'll see my Etsy link and on my social media. Go follow my social media and my Etsy store. I have a gift. I, I, I make herbal products. I make candles. I make sprays. I make gift baskets. I have so many gifts and I'm really just trying to live my life from an, a, from a, a, I am here to serve the collective. I am here to serve the divine and help use my gifts and my knowledge to help people get their life in on in get their life together and on track. You know? So I would appreciate the likes, shares, and subscribes. Then we have friendships, someone offering their support, someone close to you, your social circle. See, someone is offering their support. Someone is here to help you, but you got to ask for help. You got to ask for assistance. Someone close to you in your social circle is trying to come help you and look out for you. Lean in them friendships. Some of y'all got friends that are like teachers. Support them. Offering, you have something to offer. An offer or a proposal made. To give to receive. Some of y'all need to. That's what I told you. Some of y'all got to make sacrifices. Some of y'all got to make offerings. So you can receive what's on the other side. Which means you got to give up ego vanity. And and not living from a good intentional place. Some Like I said. Some of y'all get caught up in like. The, the, the distractions of racism. Celebrity drama. Um you know, Republican, Democratic, conservative, all that crap. It's all distractions, it's all clutter, it's all noise. Love everybody, love yourself, respect one another, treat people based on their experiences, not just because, oh, you're one experience with this black guy, oh, you're one experience with this white guy, oh, you're one experience with this Asian guy, this, like, you're one experience with this Hispanic. Treat people as avatars, right if the avatar disrespects you keep it moving if the avatar respects you and show you love show them love stop trying to worry about you know people judging you right like at the end of the day we're all here to have a spiritual experience so sacrifice something some of y'all have to start making so sacrifices because all this money and blessings is waiting once you once you give up surrender you know, something to the spirits and the divine to so let them know, like, look, I'm giving up ego. I'm giving up vanity. I'm giving up eating meat every Friday. Like, find something that that you give up that makes you a better person so that you can better hone your gifts and intuition. That's offering. Have to give to receive. Some That's what I'm telling y'all. Some of y'all got gifts and talents some of y'all always charging money. Some of y'all might be a lawyer or a, or a dentist. Man, do some free legal counsel on social media every few days. Give somebody some tips. Do a free do a free teeth cleaning once a week. Something like we all have talents. Do a free painting once a week. Make somebody's day. Donate it to a school or something. Like some of y'all have gifts and talents, and we've been too driven by money, and you need to. Give to receive, divine love, a soul connection with someone, looking for, finding true love, loving something, someone. Some of y'all got to love. Some of y'all are with your divine love. And some of y'all, your divine love will be coming to you. But some of y'all might already be talking and connected with your divine love. 
Like I said, others, you'll be meeting them. Priestess of light, your light shines for others. The world is your oyster, powerful manifester. I told you, I'm talking to a light figure. Some of y'all are out here walking in your, in your, in your, you know, your ascension, your priesthood, your priestesshood. Some of y'all are glowing up. Some of y'all are honing your gifts. Some of y'all are practicing your gifts. Some of y'all are not being afraid anymore to walk in the light. Some of y'all are not afraid to ask questions. Some of y'all are doing good things with your gifts and abilities and not just making it about money, 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 money. Stop letting this hustle hard, make money ass uh, echo chamber we live in drive you. Do some good with your energy and light, right? Be a helpful person. What did I just tell you? Make sure you you hit you smash that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. Like and leave a comment. Look at how I already have said that and I'm pulling the cards about it. Look at this. In your power, helpful people and a priest is away. I told you. Some of y'all out here are powerful manifestors if you believe it. Living and once you start stepping in your power, demanding your respect. Setting boundaries and, and working on your that light in your dark. Cultivating from an empowered place. Cultivating inner strength. Taking your power back. Some of y'all need to call your power back. I call back all my power from all person, places, things, and timelines and dimensions. Cleansed and purified with love, light, and, and protection. Call that shit back. I rescind my power from those who took my power. I rescind my power from those who took it without my permission. Call that shit back. Because once you start stepping more in your power with this priestess of light, man, when y'all find y'all divine love, and for those of you, when y'all start getting better connected with your divine love that you're already with, because some of y'all are with y'all divine love, and it's going to create this light. Y'all going to become this big ass light beam where y'all just attract all this good shit. But you got to sacrifice. I said this in the last deck. I hadn't even seen the offering card. Y'all got to sacrifice some things. And some of the shit is going to hurt to get to the other side. I told you, what are you giving to receive? Right? What good are you doing to receive? Right? What, what things are you willing to give up to be uncomfortable? What are you willing to give up that may even hurt your feelings for a little while, but you know it's worth it to get to the other side? What, what sacrifice? The sacrifice got to match what you're trying to get. All right? And I don't mean sacrifice killing harming people. Y'all know what the fuck I'm saying. Spirit ain't saying like that. But it is a mirror. How much good you do is what you're going to get back. You know what I'm saying? Right? So... Get out of this conflict and whatever is causing it, right? All this drama, turmoil, so you can have all this harmony and divine love and this light and your power and friendship. Told y'all, I pulled the friendship. Says someone is going to be willing to offer support and help. It's going to be someone close to you. Ask for help. But also be willing to make the needed sacrifices when the times show up. Helpful people, someone will be generous to you. Remember I said it, when you believe anything is possible, right? Someone's going to be generous to you. People want and are willing to help. People are going to be willing to help. Accept help from others. I am open, I am ready, I receive help from people. I am open, I am willing, I am open, I am ready, I receive and willing to accept help from others. All right? I am walking in my divine power. I I am I am channeling my inner light. I am honing my inner light, right? So I am I am walking with divine love. I have my divine love. I am looking for my whatever this stuff is. Y'all know what the I am's are. Y'all can see what the cards are to know what you need to manifest. Let's close this out. Go on, go on, go go out with a bang. See if we can get this done in the next ten. Appreciate everyone that's been here with me tonight. I really do. I hope this reading resonated in a major way. Don't forget again to like, share, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. I appreciate you watching. Um, yeah, I hope I provided some clarity for some, someone who may have been 
you know, feeling down and in the dumps and not feeling optimistic. I know this emotion is this cancer energy is it's going to have some of y'all really not yourselves. All right. So fight for your mental health this month. OK, fight for your peace in your home. Fight for that divine love that wants to come through. Not a mermaid card so far. All right, there we go. We have discernment. You know things others don't and you are determined to take action. I told you some of y'all got gifts. That's that intuition. That's that priest of light that's in your power. I told you. Some of y'all got divine knowledge. Some of y'all have gifts. Stop questioning it. Use discernment on, on who you share your gifts with, right? If you're going to do it for the collective, that's great. Use your gifts for the collective, right? Just make sure you're protecting yourself, all right? Because some of y'all are already stepping into your divine power, right? People be like, oh, how you know these things? Like... Some of y'all just, again, that's why I'm saying some of y'all are getting downloads from your past lives. That's why I think it irritates me when people be making fun of people who be like, oh, how do you know that? Like, what book did you read? What video did you read? Nothing. Bitch, maybe I just had a fucking download. Like, I just, I can feel it and sense it and I just know. And if, whether you believe me or not, it doesn't matter, right? A lot of us go through that and we start doubting our downloads just because other people don't have downloads. They don't have their receivers awake, right? Their receivers are off. So they're not getting what we're getting, right? So don't let people, don't let people distract you. You're not crazy. That card confirms it and a few other cards. You're not crazy. You have gifts. As I am, don't allow your insecurities and Wait, don't allow your insecurities and overshadow your remarkable abilities. Don't allow your insecurities to overshadow your remarkable abilities. What did I say that? I just was saying that with the discernment, right? Don't let that outside clutter noise of people who ain't, who, first of all, some people are gifted and I feel like some others will never wake their gifts up. I hate to say it. There's, there's some lost causes in these cycles, y'all. That's the reality. Because some people will never believe that that's a thing. I ain't got no gift. What the hell's a gift? Like, right? If you have to explain all that, they are at the, like, real base of, you know, waking their gifts up. So, you know, it, it's going to take some patient people to, to wake them up. All right? And that's not everybody's journey. I say that, too. Don't feel bad when you have to leave people who ain't willing to spiritually wake up. That is a burp and a confirmation. Because if you like, if you have to try to persuade people to believe you, they ain't for you. Don't be in environments where you have to persuade people. Because it says, step in as I am. Be vulnerable. Be open. Look, it's that white dress again. Look, in the truth, same photo. Look at that. Chick wearing a like that white dress of vulnerability, right? Like showing up as I am. Hair all in the breeze body flowing vulnerable right so don't let your insecurities and your inner voice clutter you because you have remarkable abilities of course you do when you're a fucking priestess of light and you in your power that's hathor right there don't let these people mm, do not let people distract you Followers, there are people that will follow your lead even when you are unsure of your direction. There you go. But I tell you, some of y'all going to be out here natural born leaders and you're going to have followers. But remember what I told you, right? What kind of, what kind of person do you want to be? Do you want to build a community or do you want to build followers, right? Make sure you are, I know this card says followers, but make sure you're building a community. Make sure you are building something that is not just going to take from you. A lot of people build followers and not communities and wonder why they feel droughted by that, right? Don't wear a mask. Show up as your authentic self, all right? Whether you're bald-headed, no makeup, doesn't matter, right? Show up as your authentic self and you're going to cultivate a community, right? 
We're moving past followings, all right? We're building communities, right? We're building safe havens, right? For people to openly talk about wanting to open their gifts and all kind of things, right? Wanting to be more empathetic and generous and helpful to complete strangers. I have not given up on humanity, all right? The sun, joy, freedom, enthusiasm, self-expression, pregnancy, good luck, gratitude. Just was saying this. Move from a place of gratitude. That's the sun. Ooh, this bitch. This, ooh, she fine as fine as mermaid. All right, that's the sun, y'all. Blessings, just a confirmation, I told you. Confirmation of move from enthusiasm, enthusiasm, show up as I am, which is your self-expression, right? Sensuality, vulnerable, speaking your truth, joy, freedom, and pure happiness, and good luck. And pregnancy for some of y'all, that divine love about to get you knocked up. Huh? And Leo season is coming. That's a fact. Once we can get through this cancer, this tribute, oh Lord, this turbulent emotion, that's the rain. All this rain. Look at this. You notice a lot of the umbrella cards came out, right? A lot of the water cards, the rain. That's cancer. If we can stand, you can't stand the rain. That old school song popped in my head. It's my window. Some of y'all need to go listen to that song. I can't stand the rain. That's what you need to go listen to. Because that's cancer season. The devil. Oh, the devil. Well, the devil show sure is fine. <laughs> By the way, the devil's Capricorn. I'm a Capricorn. This is definitely my card, right? Toxic habits, negative thinking, addictions, mental conflicts, self-sabotage. Oh, that's a cancer. I mean, as a Capricorn, if I ain't never see it, like we're our own worst enemy. I don't need nobody to tell me that. It's self-sabotage all the time. All the time. Some of y'all got the same habits. Some of y'all need to look and see where you got Capricorn in your um, in your chart. If you can see where you got Capricorn in your chart, you'll know like what you need to work on exactly. Where the self sabotage? I need to go look. I know Capricorn's my son, but I need to go see where else I got Capricorn because I feel like I've actively been working on the things that the sun sign represents. But there's some things in them other houses I need to address. Right, so. Some of y'all need to look up your stuff and see why you got so much toxic behaviors. And maybe we can heal some of that negative thinking, right? And stand out of our own damn way. Then we have recognition. Be kind to yourself in this process, right? All this transition, death, rebirth. Be kind. Treat yourself to a beautiful bouquet of flowers. What I tell y'all? Some of y'all need to go on that retreat. You need to spend some money. You need to buy yourself some nice things. Buy yourself some little pleasure toys. Some things. Okay? Go go get your nails done. What did I say? Go get them nails done. Go get your feet done. Go get that hair cut. Go buy that new outfit. Go have fun. Alright? You deserve it. Go celebrate. Some If some of y'all like me just started YouTube channels or social media or just started a business, right? Like, go celebrate every fucking milestone right now. I don't care if it, you, you only sold 10 items, whatever it is, right? This side hustle, maybe a side hustle, you just got your first customer. Go celebrate that. I'm telling you, if we learn to celebrate everything like that, it, 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 it does us good. It really does. Then we had carry your own. You are only responsible for your own problems, not those of others. Ooh, I have been guilty of that and I've actively been working on it because it's even hard when you have a lover, right? <laughs> I literally did a reading the other day that was like, mind your business. And then the other one was like, step aside. Like that ain't mind your business because you got to let people deal with their own shit. You have to let people deal with their own shit. I know that's hard to say. It is, right? Because you're like, no, but that's my husband. That's my wife. Sometimes your husband and wife might be getting karma. <laughs> some, some things is just not in your control. And some of y'all really do need to spectate some people going through their own hell. You can't you can't keep pulling people out of hell at, at the cost of your own sanity and health. The star, 
hope, inspiration, spirituality, illumination, contentment, calm, popularity. I told y'all, some of y'all about to be a star with me out here. We about to be popping. You see this melanin dripping? Fine ass star. Boy, this deck is gorgeous. But yes, we, you know, some of y'all gonna be shining bright in your field and business. It ain't always about entrepreneurship neither because I feel like too often everybody want to be an entrepreneur. Let me tell you, be a star in your company. Get that promotion. Get that raise. You know, like that people don't talk enough about the the pleasures of four hundred one k's, dental, insurance, all that. This ain't shade. I'm sick of people shading people who work jobs. Get like listen. If your job pays you good, I'm all for pay good paying jobs. I ain't for them shits that don't pay you well because that's time wasted. You know, if you work in a job that pays you for your time actively, then I'm all for it, all right? Because, you know, wherever you working, you're going to bloom. Keep working on you and mind your business. Stay out. Carry your own. Carry your own bucket of water. When people sinking, you got to let them sink. When people going through shit, you got to let people go through shit. I say this even about my own children. Like my oldest son, when he was he going going through his own hell and tribulations, I had you, you got to step aside sometime and you got to ask for help and let like let them go through their own hell. It's hard, y'all. It's not easy balancing these things. You know, we all struggle. There's no parenting book. No one, you know, there's plenty of parenting books, but nothing can help you parent your own individual household. People can only give you advice right? No one can help you in your relationship. You can only give advice. You can only be an ear, right? Because every relationship is, again, that gray area. I talk about it every reading, the gray. Everything is not black, white. Everything's not red, blue, or, you know, Republican, Democrat. There's always gray area, right? So we don't know people's gray, right? We don't ever see everything, because to some degree, people wear masks. Some people are snake charmers. All kind of shit, right? Protect yourself. The star is here. Our time is now. John Cena, the sun and the star. Use your, what I tell you. Use your voice. The truth is showing up again. Your situation won't improve unless you open up, express yourself, and speak your truth. That's it. That's the message. Your life won't change until you use your voice whether that's asking for help whether that's setting boundaries whether that's telling people what you can take on and can't anymore what you know whether that's you speaking i am right don't allow your insecurities to overshadow your remarkable whether that's getting out of your own head speaking bad things to yourself use your voice for you know cultivating good things in your own mind and environment I hope this reading resonated. I really appreciate if you stayed with me this whole hour and a half. I love doing the longer readings because I feel like it really allows me to be able to really help talk through, you know, through things that I'm meant to talk through, right? And not just read you cards and say, all right, that's what the cards is. All right, I hope it resonated. Bye. No, I hope. I hope I really, you know, can am providing spotlights on these, you know, these energies that spirit definitely wants you to pay attention to myself included i'm telling y'all when i do these things i am the collective too it's not a just me a me and then you it's a we right so i really appreciate you guys allowing the we collective to vibe and share our energy but i am going to call back my energy now call back my energy from all person places things timelines and dimensions purify cleanse Protected with love, light, and protection. I cleanse my chakras of this energy. I cleanse my chakras of this energy. I cleanse my chakras of this energy. Whew, and I send your energy back with love. I send your energy back with love. I send your energy back with love. I hope this reading resonated, you guys. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. Tell a friend. Share it. Let us know what you thought. Um, check out my other videos. And let me know. Uh, yeah. Let me know if there's some, you know, some other readings you would like me to touch into, whether it's like money, you know, I'm all for, you know, if some of y'all want me to take a look at some finances, some love life, you know, whatever it is, ancestors, a passed on loved one. By the way, I do, I do commune with the dead. So just let me know. 
And until next time, you guys, I am Calypso Vibes of Spiritual Tarot Reading. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.